home from a troubled country. About 100 migrant workers have arrived at the Kutoka International Airport. This is the third bike to arrive in the country since government started the evacuation of Ghanaians from the Libyan Egypt border. They look stressed out, most of them with different harrowing experiences. I was working on site. Uh, I'm a pipe CG pipe holder. CG pipe holder. Well, I was working, so they said we should stop work. So I decided to come to camp and come and change my clothes. So when I reached there, I saw the security guard, they were complaining that there are some Libyan people. They said they are protested by they're carrying big, big guns, AK-47, big, big cutlasses. They said they need the black people out because they, they kill their people. Muhammad Gaddafi sent them as missionaries to kill their people. So they said they need those black people out. So, our, you know, we work in foreign companies. They started not to, to give us to them, you understand me? So we were there. After 30 minutes, they left. So after 30 minutes, what we just, I just heard his gunshot. What? I just heard his gunshot everywhere. Cutlass is cutting people, you understand me? So I decided to run. I ran, I left all my things there. I have to run. You see, I'm, working, I'm wearing my working gear. This is what I was wearing that day, on 17th. We got a rumor that the Ghana president will bring a ship from Ghana to Benghazi. So a lot of people have gathered themselves there. They are waiting for that ship. So if that ship is not coming, they should tell them so that everybody can move to Egypt so that he can be brought to Ghana. Secondly, Ghana embassy in uh, Tripoli. We called him, I have his number, I called him, when you call him, he switched his phone off. Even sometimes a lady will pick it, he asks you to wait, he will give it to the embassy, later you call him, he will never pick. So the president will do something about it, because other than that, many Ghanaians will die. As, especially in Silit, where the president came from, Libya president. Any, any black at all cannot move out. They are back for a new beginning. Some of them are calling on government to provide them with jobs. We are all professional workers, working in very good companies, or, or foreign companies. We are building constructors, Malaga, Boilers, and all sorts of things. But it's very difficult to get those kind of work in Ghana. As for me, I'm a CSG pipe holder. I'm a CSG pipe holder. In Ghana here, we, I, I've heard that we have even discovered some oil. But, you know, it's very difficult for, to get down those places. But in Libya, if you are working there as a CSG pipe, pipe holder, 45 degrees, the lowest pay is $1,800 a month. Yeah, that's the lowest pay. We need work. If we have good work here, we will never go anywhere again. Because we don't have those works here, that's always, we, we always try to travel to Libya because of their resources, their oil, so that you can get some work to do over there. Government officials say about 1,000 more Ghanaian migrants have been transported to an evacuation liaison post at Salam, located on the Egypt-Libyan border. 600 people are being processed on their way to Cairo. So we can assure you that the government is doing everything. We know we are receiving serious calls from Tripoli. It's because Tripoli, we have not started airlifting Tripoli. But from tomorrow, inshallah, we'll be sure we'll start lifting those from uh, Tripoli and that all those tensions will come down. Two more flights from Egypt are due to arrive in the country. <laughs> Meanwhile, the humanitarian situation along the Libyan border with Tunisia continues to worsen by the day as tens and thousands of migrant workers flee from Libya. Thomas Nadi Batoma, ETV Ghana News, Accra.